Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about sleep a little bit. So the majority of Americans get probably about less than six hours of sleep a night. Uh, so what's happening here is that we're sleeping less, we're doing more, and our bodies still need to get done what they need to get done. And also the other part of that is, is that we're relying less on sleep to get our body to reset and to repair um, and to handle stress. And instead we're using caffeine and, car and excessive carbohydrates um, and other things to get us through our days when we're tired. When really all we need to do is to get ourselves in bed earlier, make it a priority, and get in bed earlier than we are now so that we're able to get enough sleep. For me, I literally think about the next day and when I have to wake up and I count back eight hours and that's when I set myself um, to get into bed to fall asleep. So, you know, whatever works for you, if that's not going to work for you, fine. I know a lot of, you know, some of you have family and kids and, you know, other things going on, a lot of work stress. I get it, but that's not going to get any better. Um, if you're not getting enough sleep. So I challenge you to think about when you're going to wake up the next day. Set the clock back or think about how long, how many um, hours you want to get. And then, you know, give yourself a priority what time you want to get into bed. So read below and you'll see all the benefits of rest and sleep. You know, a lot of times we don't put a high priority on resting and sleeping and providing uh, time for our bodies to rejuvenate itself when and we're more into go 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 but honestly our bodies benefit a lot from rest and sleep so read below the benefits of rest and sleep and yeah have a great Thursday you guys bye